good morning um <laughs> this is what you get right now just got out of bed hair pimple face homeschool mom um good morning it is 7 a.m and me and the boys just kind of uh woke up came downstairs the girl is still <coughs> knocked out um let me drink some of this Is anybody else um, like in springtime, but when you wake up, it's super, super cold. And then by the evening, it's like 75 degrees. Um, that's what we're dealing with right now. And because of that, like extreme weather, we are having like allergies, itchy eyes, coughing, all of that. Um, but good morning. We are about to make breakfast, but of course, I'm gonna have my cup of coffee first. We measure time in coffee cups in my house. Um, so I'm gonna have my cup of coffee and then we're gonna make breakfast and kind of go from there. Um, I'm also, while I'm drinking coffee, I'm gonna listen to um, some business podcasts. Um, I love Earn Your Happy Now by Lori Harder. If you've been around, you know that like that is my go-to um, business podcast. So I'm gonna listen to that while I drink my coffee. And then, yeah, welcome to our day. It's gonna be a good day, you guys. Um, after going to the Wonder Here Childhood Homeschool Conference, I got recentered and renewed and I just got my cup filled um, and recentered on my vision for homeschooling and um, why I do it and why I pursue it. And um, not that I lost track of that this year, but I've had to adjust because of life. And through in the adjustments, um, we lost some of that joy and that fire and, and what makes our homeschool magical. So we're back on track y'all. And it has been the best like three, the best week of homeschooling uh, that we've had in a long time. So I'm excited to bring you on, uh, to bring you along today. Are you gonna help me? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna be my little sous chef today? Yeah. Wait, mama, yes. how do you make it? We're gonna make bacon, eggs, pancakes? Yeah. All right. Wait, wait, mama. Yeah. Wait, before I need mine. Oh, you want your apron? Yeah, for real, is it? It's in the kitchen. Okay, look, I'm almost done. Mama, who we are? <laughs> Teo, is this what you were talking about? Yes. Yes. So we got this cute little thing for Teo. Titus, you can help him too because it deals with time. And the, hold on, hold on, let him hold it. Let's come sit at the table, sit right here by the window and help. Come here, Tata, you can help him. Oh, okay. Okay, so hold on. What what month is it? January, February, March, April. April. Yes, Journey and Ty Ty's birthdays, right? What month? Is it winter, spring, summer, or autumn? Hmm? Spring. Yep, because all the flowers are coming up, right? Uh, yeah. What's the weather like? You don't think it's sunny? Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah, sunny. Okay. No, it's not sunny. It's not sunny? Yeah. I get it in cloudy. You think it's cloudy? Yeah, I get a mama. I don't get no fun eggs. You don't see the sun over there? Shiny? No, mama. Yeah. Get it um, go far away. It's far away? Yeah. Okay. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I will link that down below for everyone who's gonna love it. I got it for Teo and then Titus. The goal is that Titus helps him with the time, but um, I'll link it down below. Teo's taking the shoe chef, Sue Mama. chef. Mama! Mama! Yes. Get the pookie right here. You do? He pookie right here. Oh my goodness. Now we all have to go. It's Thursday. I have to cook it all over. Yep, it go get. Right here? Yep. Okay. 
Are you gonna help me? Oh yeah. Okay. Some allergy. Hey, you have a very important job, okay? okay? Do you want to know what it is? Mm -hmm. We need to put the bacon on the pan, okay? And okay, let me get the bacon for you. Wait, is bacon cold? You tell me. Oh yeah, it's cold. How I open it? Let's see. <laughs> okay. You be uh, attack it. There's that one. That was so long. Put them a little closer. They're best friends. Make them best friends. It's so scooch that one. Go, 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 right here. Wait. All right. Yeah. Next. So how about I crack the eggs and you stir them? Mama. Yeah. So maybe the egg a um a a g, okay mom? Eggs yeah. for your birthday? Yeah. And, egg. And bacon? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, egg waffle. So we do so six. Bacon. Okay, we do six eggs. How many do you see in there right now? Good job. Three. And now that's four. Five. Uh-oh, we got a shell in there. We got the shell out. What comes after five? Six. Six. Good job. going to start our day with read aloud. Now the kids are downstairs doing their chores and I decided to come up here um, and set everything up. So what we're reading, let me show you what we're reading. Um, this has been um, such a gift to us, such a way back into read alouds. And um, I got this book recommendation from Jessica at the Waldock Way and it is Pages and Code, The Book Wonders. We are loving this read. Uh, so we're gonna read. I try to do two chapters a day, but we end up always doing three or four because the kids never want me to stop. Uh, you guys know we are doing a flower unit study this month. You might be able to see some of these. Um, this is the from the Usborne, like just water. It's just water and a paintbrush and then magical colors appear. Uh, we've been doing that. Uh, this is actually Teo's. I told him to do something that represented dirt and the flowers and the sun. So this is actually coffee grounds that he used. And this is some uh, grass that he got from outside. And that's his son. Uh, we've just been having a really fun time with the flowers, planting them outside. Uh, we'll show you our little sprouts in this vlog. But 
As I do read aloud, I said all of that to say, as I do read aloud, today they're going to be painting some flowers. So I'm gonna show them, I'm gonna set it up for them. I'm gonna um, have some flowers out that they can take inspiration from. And then as I read, they can just go ahead and paint. Um, DK sent us these cool little uh, paint packs to celebrate their um, DK and the Met they're like collaborating. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so we're going to be using their paint that they sent us and just painting and reading and connecting and having fun. So let's get that set up. up for them each kid has their own paint we have two waters and then I really want to use um, this the big book of blooms by Yuval Zomer like for their main inspiration and then there's also real beautiful vivid pictures that they can also um, look at in my resource um, books like how cute would that be to paint um, so I have those out. We have that. I also got this one. This is a, um, Usborne book. I will link that book. Actually, let me show you. So this is Cottage Gardens. This is my favorite book. Like when I finally have my home and I finally get to create a cottage garden. Um, and then this one is the layered garden and I'll, I'll post both of the, or I'll link both of these. Um, for any of you mamas or even for the kids, the kids really do enjoy flipping through those two. And then I'll link that one in case you don't have it yet. And then this is an Usborne book that Shantae um, sent us. Shout out to Shantae. Teo really likes this book. So I just put it by his um, so that he can look at and maybe he can try to Im imitate that as much as he can. And then this is our read aloud. I will probably pull my chair out to give them some space and just read right there okay oh this is they're looking great now mommy's gonna start reading so we have to do it quietly okay okay i gotta know what happened yeah and all you have to do is just wipe it oh yeah are you ready to know what happened yes you might have to use the other green use the screen and there's other brushes too if you need to use a different brush okay chapter seven imaginary friends oh do we remember what happened last yes um she disappeared the girl that she was talking to right and she's she met two girls what were those girls names alice and Anne were green alice and Anne with the e yes from green gables and alice in wonderland right all right, let's see what becomes of this. An hour or so later, with the slight smell of burned sugar in the air, Jack sent Tilly round to crumbs with some pop cakes. 
It had taken him a few batches, but he had finally perfected them so that when you bit into one, you got a mouthful of lovely, sticky honey. just finished two chapters in the book wonders the kids paint it the whole basically the whole time um they're about to rep they're about to show their art and explain what their art is about uh that's what little miss journey wanted to do and we had a very good conversation about what is in a name so tilly uh meets alice and ann and they start to talk about what's in a name what does it mean to be um, what's Tilly-ness and what's Titus-ness and what's Tori-ness and Journey-ness. So we had a beautiful conversation about that. All right, guys. So after this, we were going to go um, into school and Titus was going to do reading. Titus finished his math. So he was going to do some reading. Journey's doing language and reading, but Journey decided that she wants to read to us. So we're going to let her read. Are you just reading that or are you going to read this one too? I'm going to read this. Just that one? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to let Journey read to us while we, the boys Wait, are all, this building. This counts and, as my reading. You want that to count as a yeah. reading? Okay, that's fair. Uh, so Journey's going to read, knock out her reading while the Actually, boys play. Oh, she's going to read this. Can I show them this one? Mm -hmm. She also got um, Lily Huckleby, Huckleberry in Japan. Can you tell there's a theme going on? Yeah. Journey yeah. is yeah, falling in love with that. Japan, so we are oh. exploring it through books. So I'll link this one and Soul Lanterns, the one she showed you, down below. Um, but yeah, we're going to let Journey read to us while we, hey, hey, while we quietly build, right? Okay, guys, so Journey's book, um, Soul Lanterns, is about um, the bombing of Hiroshima. And it has so much rich information. Like, she's learning about um, 
she's learning all about Japan through it. And there's even a lot of Japanese words that she's pronouncing so greatly. So uh, to pair with that, where did the other book go, honey? The Hiroshima? The, the bombing. Yeah. Where did that go? I just had it. I know. Oh, there it is. So because I got her this one and I knew what it was about, I also paired it with what was um and this is part of the who was series and so it's awesome because she gets a beautiful story while also learning a very real part of history and so we got the globe out and we got to see where japan was in hiroshima and um yeah it's just really really awesome wait can i see where tokyo is yeah tokyo yeah. Get closer, look. journey now has the camera this is journey cam yeah <laughs> There you go. You got to go slow. We're going to plan a trip there one day, huh? Yes. Tokyo, Tokyo. So that's Tokyo City. And then Do you see Okinawa? That's where I lived. Okinawa, Nakanawa. All right, so Journey just finished her beautiful reading, um, and her and I had some beautiful unschooling time. I We're going to clean up this homeschool room and we're going to take a lunch break we're going to see if it's warm enough to play outside for a little bit and then um we're going to finish some school um downstairs though not in the homeschool room all right all right so i'm tired we've decided to do to finish up school in the bed with popcorn journey's doing english work and then she's going to do some handwriting Titus is going to go over some phonics cards. He's going to do some reading. This is the Level K reader for The Good and the Beautiful. I don't like The Good and the Beautiful. However, it works so well with Titus. So Titus does that. Um, and yeah, Journey has already done her reading. She's going to do two weeks of work in her master books. And we're just going to lay here and be comfy and get some work done and stuff our faces with popcorn. Oh. We are done with our school day. Um, Journey did uh, her language uh, with master books. She did some handwriting. She did her independent reading. You guys saw that, I think. Titus did his independent reading to me. He did um, some phonic uh, phonics cards reviewing, um, and he did handwriting. And like I said, Titus has completed his math book. Um, Journey still has about I think two or three lessons in our math book, but today wasn't a math day. Um, right now, we are separating, um, doing our own thing. So the kids, Titus and Taylor are fighting, um, and the kids are cleaning their rooms, which are a mess. Do you guys wanna see that? I'll show you real life real quick. Okay. So the boys played hard in their room all morning. They are cleaning it up. Clean this up. And then the girl's bringing up her amp. She's so annoyed with me right now. <laughs> um, oh, Journey, your room's not that messy. But she has to clean this up. So I'm going to vacuum my space. What is this? Tags. So, yeah, we are in our separate spaces cleaning up. And then after that, we're going to have some quiet time. Usually I allow them to watch some TV, but um, the latter half of our day, like the book work of it all, um, proved to be a little 
it wasn't challenging, but we didn't have the best attitude. So um, I'm going to have quiet time in their rooms for the first hour of our divided time. And then we'll um, go from there. I'm going to clean up my room. I'm so tired. I think I'm going to have another coffee. I'm trying not to, but I need it. So, okay. I've been cleaning, listening to podcasts. My room's clean. All of this trash needs to go downstairs. Homeschool room is clean. I'm going to do something really cute with their paintings. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, boys room, fairly clean, fairly clean, clean floor, clean bed. That's good. Um, this is the tester. This room's not clean. We're not, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna show you that. I'm not even gonna show you. Okay, um, vacuum needs to go downstairs. Let's do something fun with their beautiful art because they really all were so proud of it. Art. Why does art just instantly make you feel good? Also, a beautiful subscriber made this for me and she sent it to me, y'all. Like, how talented. Art just blows my mind. I'm not going to shout her out because I don't know if she wants her name to be on YouTube, but I did shout her out on my Instagram. She's amazing. So beautiful. And she actually inspired all this art to go on the wall. They're still on the growing. Look at that freaking, that spider web is awesome. Do you see the spider anywhere? No, not a, no, not a clue. Oh wait, um, I think he's making a web again, I think. I don't know. Hey mom, is a blue macaque um, in danger? I think so. Oh, and yeah, like, in the, mom, mom, cheetahs out Hold danger. on, try this journey with stocking. I was done talking. Oh. Yes. Um, Cheetah's out in danger too. Oh no. Hey, question guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Which one of our flowers do you think is going to be the first one to fully sprout? Um, like the red pot. Like this one. The red pot. Yeah. The red pot? Yeah, just look at it. This one looks like it's really behind, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll see. Yes, Teo, come see. It's literally the web pot. Look at the web, Teo. What? Some hey, really mom. cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. It finally warmed up, so we're just gonna go ahead and end our day outside. I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna have that second cup of coffee and no, third cup of coffee. Uh, and thank you guys so much for your support and watching. Remember, homeschool's supposed to be fun. Have fun with your kids, play with your kids and enjoy it. All right, we'll see you guys soon in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.